And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with yet another StarCraft II commentary. I am the Blue Terran in the Northeast up against Horstatio, Horstatio uh, the Red Protoss in the Southwest. Uh, the map, I believe, is called Kulas Ravine. I sure hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, this, after going 2 and 3 in the placement matches, they did stick me into the Bronze Ladder. No big surprises there. I am still a noob at this game. Um, watching the Protoss player, um, because I'm still not that familiar with how exactly how their builds, uh, build orders go, we are seeing a Chrono Boost a little late, as far as I can tell, um, getting those probes ready. Uh, Protoss can get the probes faster than the um, Terrans can get any sort of uh, SCV uh, saturation, but um, the Terrans usually make that up with the mules later on, uh, plus the fact that uh, Zalots do cost uh, 100 gold, uh, sorry, 100 minerals. Wow, back to the Warcraft days, gold. Um, we are seeing a gateway go down early on. I'm trying to scout them, but unfortunately I go to the wrong base. There goes my barracks. Um, just in case of a, a zealot rush, uh, I am going to be blocking off uh, this choke point here. Do you see that? He's not up there moving my SCV further away. Um, no scouting at all from Horstachio. Uh, he is getting a forge. Right as that gateway finishes. And he's continuing to chrono boost his nexus to get as many probes as possible. And now we are seeing a cybernetic score. As you can see, he is taking the lead on the harvesters. Uh, just a small lead at this point. But if he continues to chrono boost, that could easily change and it could become a big lead for him. So I'm going down. I'm not sure exactly what I'm seeing here. Um, you know, we've got a quick forge, a quick gateway, a quick cybernetics core, and a late gas as far as I can tell. But once again, I'm not too familiar with my Protoss builds, so I'm not quite sure what to expect. He does get a photon cannon uh, start uh, warping in. So I do need to get out of there soon. Um, but I just wanted to go and double check. Yes, it was a cybernetic score. So I believe at this point I was expecting a fast zealot stalker rush. Um, but because I went back and double checked, I, I, I have bad micro on the rest of my SCVs. As you can see, there's just two uh, loafing around there towards the beginning of the front of my base. And I didn't get that refinery down in time. Uh, but that Orville Command just now finished starting up. Uh, still not getting any units from my barracks. I should be getting a reactor down if I expect uh, that uh, rush that I think I did expect. Um, doesn't look like he's going for it, though. Nothing being trained at his gateway. Still chrono boosting his Nexus as he's warping in um, a Twilight Council. And another Photon Can. Looks like he's turtling up, um, but that Twilight Council does usually mean a dark, uh, dark Templar Rush. Sorry, I almost called him Dark Stalkers. That would be insane. Maybe we'll see that in an expansion pack. Uh, as he, but I'm still so behind on gas that I finally just get a reactor down now. I am scared for that rush still. Um, so... But I do go for uh, double refineries. It was way too early for that, but considering how many minerals I have, I really should be building something else here. Really, I've just got the one barracks. Um, I'm not sure if this was my first game of the day. Sometimes uh, my first game of the day, I do fall apart early on. Um, and here, if you look carefully between these two gas here, you see that SCV waiting outside. And as soon as that last SCV comes out with the gas, he goes back in. But here, there's a little bit of a delay. Um, Cy Starcraft pointed this out a few times in his videos. Uh, he refers to it as the gimp gas. Um, I don't 
necessarily see that big of a difference between the two, so I don't worry too much about it. If you are highly concerned about gas, you might want to stick a fourth SCV here. As, and I am getting more SCVs, but not nearly as fast. Oh, I do actually, uh, with that mule, I'm uh, slightly ahead of him um, on the income tab. Oh, there we go. That mule's finally kicking in. I do go for the one factory scene that he didn't rush. Um, so I'm trying to go for a mech build here uh, with the double factories. Um, hoping to get uh, siege tanks, um, possibly some Thors later on. Getting down to starport. I'm, but really my only defense is at, these, at this point is uh, two marines. Uh, luckily, he still doesn't know where I am. He's scouting the wrong base here uh, because he didn't get any scouting in early. Uh, th four gateways, a dark shrine. There goes that. Oh, five gateways. Uh, five gateways and a dark shrine. Uh, he could be going for a dark Templar rush, uh, but really, it looks like he's uh, very scared about... Uh, I mean, this would be great for a baneling... Uh, uh, prevention here but you know he's up against Terran so I don't know what all this uh, so close together is for maybe he's scared of ghosts um, definitely scared of something here with this kind of build all clumped together like that uh, everything w moved into a warp gate nothing being warped in yet it looks like Oh, he did go for the expansion into uh, one of the other starting areas. I'm going for an expansion just at my natural here, uh, the closest one to my main base. Uh, I do move a couple Marines, but once again, they're my only defense uh, against any army he may have, and I'm not training any more, it looks like. Um, I am getting a couple <laughs> siege tanks, but I didn't get any... Uh, tech lab on the other factory so I can't get any tanks there yet uh, nothing coming out of my starport even though I do have a tech lab so just bad micro on my part I don't know what I was doing that day how are we going here we, we he does have four dark Templar out on the field that is well enough to take out my base right now because I simply have nothing to counter that I don't have any missile turrets and so I can't, I wouldn't be able to see them. I do have enough energy uh, for one scan on my orbital command, uh, but uh, even if I do use that one scan, uh, my four Marines probably will have no chance against these five Dark Templar. And there goes my scan on his expansion. I don't actually see what kind of units those were. I did see units moving across, uh, but I only saw two uh, red dots, so I assumed it was just going to be a scouting mission here um, of maybe a couple zealots, but they are Dark Templars, so I have no chance here. Just really bad early game mechanics on my part. He he left one. Oh, no, he goes back and finishes the job. And it's at this point that I just know I'm screwed. I have absolutely nothing ready uh, to counter that. No missile turrets. I am I'm going for a sensor tower. Um, I think at this point I still thought that sensor towers actually could de detect cloak units. Um, and as you can see, I'll never find out in this game that they actually do not. Um, don't get a sensor tower. Missile turrets, missile turrets. And I s just am now... Now I would have enough for a scan, but I have no units to counter it anymore, so I have no choice but to GG, and he actually GG's first. Uh, that's kind of bad manners, but he knew the game was over and just wanted to make sure I was going to leave. I'm just in shock still at this point before I finally GG and get out of the game. Uh, so, once again, another facepalm moment. That's two in a row for me. Uh, I hope you guys don't think too much less of me. Uh, this was a horrible gameplay on my part. Uh, so, really, yeah, hope you don't think too much less of me, but you probably didn't think that much of me to begin with. As you can see, horrible...
block off. They walked right through it. It did nothing for me anyways. I had no idea what I was doing in this game. I uh, just wasn't paying attention. Uh, but good game by Herstachio with that Dark Templar. I don't even know if that was a rush. He had a lot of time to get those ready and out there. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a relatively quick map. Uh, sorry, quick game. Uh, it's actually a large map. Uh, so I hope to see you guys next time.